All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. Hopefully, uh, the reason you're joining me today is because I stuck a bunch of river crappie. Uh, I'm actually, if you guys are, if you're not new here and you're already subscribed, you'll know where I'm at. If you are new here, subscribe. I'm sure you'll see this place again. <laughs> um, but it is fall, and one thing I like to do when the water temps come down uh, below 60, uh, 50s and 40s, you can get them pretty good, is chase river crappie. Uh, they like to feed up right before winter, and the thing is, is in rivers and uh, streams and stuff like that, they pile into these areas, and if you get lucky and you hit them on the right day, you can catch a couple hundred fish. So <laughs> that's what I like about fishing crappie in the fall. So hopefully if you're seeing this, I got some of those fish. Okay, as you guys can see, I have three rods here today. Uh, that one's actually set up for bigger fish in case I want to switch tactics. Uh, I might make another video on that. The Apex, so that's an Apex Elite for my walleye and bigger fish setup. That's my Apex Ultralight for my panfish. And that is my river live bait rod. I did bring those just in case I do find some big crappies and they're not biting completely on plastics. So we're going to throw a Kalen's uh, crappie scrub on first and see how it goes. Okay, Kalen's crappie, cr crappie scrub on a Kalen's one, uh, I think that's a 164th ounce or 132nd ounce jig. Very light, but it's got a nice big long hook shank and it's got this little plastic keeper so these don't get ripped off. I'm sure I'll lose a few to uh, some northern pike. That won't be a surprise. All right, let's see what's down here. what I'm after. <laughs> you have to do it all day. micro fishing day <laughs> that's a bigger bass A little crappy. I found one. I found one. <laughs> now we just need to get one six times that size, but that's good to see. What 
that, is that a white bass or a yellow bass? That's a white bass. I've never seen one of these here. That's crazy. <laughs> so crazy. Apparently there's a bit of screw of them. Chase these guys soon. Okay, I have uh, I have some new plastics I want to try here. Charlie Brewer, crappie slider. It's a little bit bigger, so I'm hoping maybe that'll get some more attention. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. See how that goes. It's not a crappie, but he smacked the crap out of it. <laughs> Little largey. That's one fish on it. Okay, so I know there's some places where this would work, and it might even work underneath a slip outer. But I'm going to throw a minnow on and see if what's uh, swimming around here. I did get fatheads, so the crappies can't eat them. But they're a little bit bigger than this. Alright, see what bites. Alright, so we have tried Kalen's crappie scrub, which caught me a bunch of microfish. <laughs> uh, that new little paddle tails looking thing. Um, I forgot the brand of it, but it's the new plastic. Uh, it looks like a good crappie bait, but I'm going to have to fish where there's a lot more crappie uh, in order to find out if that works good. Um, and then I even tried a live minnow. I think we're down to night crawlers here. We're going to just try to catch some fish. I want to see if there's anything around. Um, I might throw some big baits around, like I said, in a little bit here, just to see if there's anything big maybe that's feeding on these little guys, because there's a lot of little fish. Um, so there could be some big fish, like northern pike, uh, large big large mouth and then big small mouth and stuff down here so I do have some bigger baits uh, that's why I brought my bigger rod to toss around and we'll see how that goes um, but I figured they would have eaten the minnows so I don't know I'm gonna do slip bobber and night crawler chunks and doink around a little bit until we figure out if there's anything down here even that's gonna eat all right well all else fails bust out a night crawler chunk This usually works. We'll see how it does today. <laughs> oh, right here. A little bit bigger. See, I'm surprised I didn't catch any of those on uh, anything I was casting. Sometimes you gotta go real finesse. Fish. It just keeps grabbing the tail over there. <laughs> Got whatever it is now. Well, bluegill. That's why. <laughs> yeah, I figured that's what you were.
fish. Good fish. That's probably a smallie. There's a big one. Yep. <laughs> I wasn't sure if they were down here even, they weren't hitting anything. That's a nice one. <laughs> That's a good smallmouth. That's a pretty fish. That's a decent smallie right there. Like a two and a half pounder. Really good build on it. And I love the colors this time of year. I'm gonna try to get a release shot of this guy. All right, so that's one big smallmouth. Well, decent size smallie. Uh, hole and drag, and that's all that matters right now. I just wanted to catch some fish. Apparently the crappie aren't down here, but I will settle for some smallmouth. Um, that means they're probably stacking up along the dam there. I'm gonna try a couple more times with the night crawler, and then I actually have a bigger bait that I might throw around. Um, I might actually throw that around right away. I don't know, I'll figure it out in a second here, but um, they're biting real light. That bobber barely moved and then finally it went under, so let's try and get another one. Okay, I'm gonna give one of these four inch uh, Kytex a try down here. See if any of those uh, bigger smallmouths wanna smack this thing around. It's just a little bit bigger, but they like the bigger ones once in a while, so figure I'd give it a try. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me. But this is, uh, that's a four inch Kytec swing impact. So we'll give it a try, see what bites, if anything. Fish. <laughs> that was quick. Oh, a large mouth over there. <laughs> I just bounced it through the rapids over there and he smacked it. That could be a good sign. <laughs> He's just sitting there, smacked the crap out of it. <laughs> Look at this. Almost the same size as you. I think he came up and smoked it. <laughs> Little tiny guy.
That one. <laughs> Yeah, that's Molly. They hit it pretty hard over there. I don't know if there's a bunch of rocks piled up or what. Tenacious little guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm done chucking the Kitek around. I got a couple more dinks on it. Um, you'll probably see those, but I'm just trying to figure out these fish and see if there's anything bigger down here. I did get that one big small mouth and it was on a slip bobber and a night crawler. So I think I'm going to give that a try for a little bit here before I got to go. There's a fish there. It got pumpkin seed. <laughs> Dangerous place for you to live down here, buddy. <laughs> That's all I needed. I wonder if there's more. That's a green sunfish. <laughs> wow, that would make really good bait. I don't know if there's any catfish down here though. If that's crazy good bait. I'm gonna have to try it. <laughs> All right, so I got that green sunfish and what I'm gonna do is I'm, I put a little, like all I had in my box, I didn't bring any big fish gear, but I have to try it. Um, I had one little treble hook, it's a decent size one, it, it should work with the green sunfish. But uh, I'm going to back hook them, I have a big bobber, I'm going to toss them around a little while, see if anything eats them. Uh, I've been doing pretty good down here this year throwing giant baits and getting b decent fish. So keep my fingers crossed, the next thing you see is me sticking a monster with that green sunfish and uh, then I can go home happy. Alright, let's do this. Well, I did the green sunfish thing. I put him in the water. I watched the bobber jerk around a little bit because he was running from something right away as soon as he hit the water. And yeah, I caught a northern pike. Well, this is what I caught. <laughs> I, uh, I must have turned the GoPro off when I thought I turned it on. Well, this is 26 inch here. I'm gonna let it go. I, I wanna keep it and eat it, but I don't feel like cleaning fish today, so. Well, that was sick. I had a great idea. I executed that idea. I just didn't film it. <laughs> Either way, guys, if you catch green sunfish that's about three inches long, you'll, you're almost guaranteed to catch northern pike. There's another one. See if something will eat this guy. Swap one rod for the next. Okay, live bait number two. Okay, make sure it's running. Oh, 
fish. Uh, I just fed somebody a free meal. <laughs> okay, ready to go. Let's get another one. I don't know how many big fish are down here, but uh, hopefully that guy's not full now. That guy's too big. <laughs> Three plus. I think it was the first time I'll ever be looking for uh, extra small bluegills. A little too big still, I think. I could actually use them as cut bait now that I think about it. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, ready to go. This guy's actually small enough. Anything could eat it. <laughs> well, that might have been a bite. Take it. Uh, oh, what <laughs> I hooked that northern pike. He ripped the bait off. The bait came floating up to the surface. He came back and smacked it. I hope you guys saw that. That was insane. <laughs> Very awesome. That was cool. I've never seen a fish come off, spin around, and smack it. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this guy into cut bait. Okay, let's see what bites. I got hooks in that one. The bigger guy? Uh, took my only hook. I should have been asking for it. It's only 10 pound mono. Alright, I found one last kind of got to bigger fish hook. I can use it for cut bait. Should work better actually because this goes in the corner of their mouth. It keeps you from biting their line, but can't promise anything. But I have a little bit of cut bait left and I want to use it. So we'll drip this a try. If we lose that, we're all done. <laughs> Okay, one of two pieces of cut bait left. Alright, cut bait wasn't doing it, so I got a, another live one. Oh, he just got eaten. He's pretty big, I'm gonna have to let him take it. Play this guy. I'm 
don't even know if he knows he's hit. Ooh, that's a bigger guy. Right in the corner of the mouth where it's supposed to be. <laughs> kind of want to examine this dude to see if he's got my other stuff in his mouth. This be another perfect pickling pike. This is why I like using these hooks. Just reel up until it sticks him in the corner of the face. Okay. You got my other hook in there, dude? Yep. This is the one that broke me off earlier. <laughs> I'm gonna take my uh, treble hook back here. Got it back. <laughs> I knew your greedy butt wouldn't freaking stop. That one I caught on film. <laughs> A little bit of shadows here, hard to see them, but probably another 26. Would be another pickling pike, but I'm just gonna let him go. Okay, so you guys saw that one. Uh, pretty much any time you throw a live bait down here, apparently, if it's about that big and it's a bluegill or a chub or anything, it's a snack down here. And it works every time, apparently. So that has me thinking, like, I got that one. The, the funny thing is, is I kind of figured it was gonna be the same one, and it was. It had, it had, my, uh, <laughs> it had my treble hook still in its mouth, and I got it back and let him go. So. Two, two for one. I got the treble hook out of his mouth and uh, caught him. <laughs> so I'm going to try to catch one more live bluegill and see if there's anything else swimming down here. Uh, I'm going to give it like 30, 40 minutes and then I got to head home. All right. One last one. This guy's the biggest one I'm deciding to throw out, but I figure I'd be going out with the bang. Oh. This guy hit right here. I'll let him take it. That's a big, that's a big bluegill. I can see the bobber swimming, so. Uh, whatever it was, let go. Teeth marks? Might have been a catfish. came back for it. <laughs> I'll let him take it a little bit longer this time. He still got it. Okay, hopefully he's got it down Got the bait. <laughs> this little stumpy guy with a broken tail. <laughs> Feel bad for taking it from him. There you go, broken dude. Fun fact, they got my bait back. <laughs> Alright guys. Uh tossed that big bluegill around a little while the one that I recovered after I got that uh, goofy looking pike with the crooked tail um, didn't get much action I did get one other bite and I think I was actually dragging a northern pike in 
Um, and he wasn't fighting or anything like that. Like, he didn't know what was going on. Um, but then I pulled the bait out of his mouth and didn't get another bite after that. So I'm going to call it here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a little bit off because I started with crappie. Um, but once I caught that little green sunfish, I knew for a fact that I was going to catch something on that. So always have some gear around uh, to switch it up. Um, I like to try to dial in my presentations and like make it so that that's all I'm chasing. But I always like to have at least like one little option. Because if I have one option, like I did today, I had one, or I had a treble hook and one big hook, and then I always have my big slip bobbers with me uh, that can handle holding little uh, bluegills and stuff like that up. You get fish like that. <laughs> Northern pike are always down to eat a injured bluegill floating in front of their face. So keep that in mind next time you get out and uh, you're fishing for some small fish and got to switch it up to the big fish. Um, hopefully the crappie start biting soon and then uh, after catching those little white bass, I actually think I might um, might chase those guys. So stay tuned for those videos. Like I said before though, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Obviously if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, can you please just remember to 